Hi, I'm Sokuo, it's one Kilo Hotel, and I will show you now some new features we have uh, made uh, for this secure lock. At the moment, you are not in the official version yet, but the uh, test binary version can be found from my uh, web page and uh, this uh, if you want to test this there is a zip file for the 64 and the 32 bit versions but please uh, read first the uh, readme install text there is a description how to use this uh, test binary file and, and how to install it but before that you have to have a working version of uh, secure log. Uh, this is not the complete installation, it just changes the uh, binary file. So everything else must be there already. And uh, at the moment on Peter's uh, GitHub site we have a pending request for the remote mode for N1MIM locker. Uh, I put it there yesterday so it's quite soon uh, accepted, I hope so. And after that you can uh, also download the code from here and compile it by yourself and get the working version. But uh, let's see now uh, what uh, changes we have there. I'm using the test binary version which is uh, 211 at the moment. And I have a test log here. Just fake here shows something to play with. So uh, let's see uh, some things that uh, are not in the official version yet. I think uh, in QSO list we have changes in filter side and the new thing is the date setting here. You can write the date here or you can set the calendar option here and uh, put the limits by uh, changing these and uh, double click the date you want to choose. And we have here a checkbox not which reverses the uh, filter. So we did have here a DXQSO which is actually, actually not <laughs> worked but it's here for testing so we can try to find the call sign just one x more and now we have a filter ready and we should see only the QSO but if we go back to filter made it again because we didn't save it and choose the not checkbox here. We see all the other QSOs but not this one. So in some cases it uh, might be uh, very useful to uh, reverse the uh, filter. And uh, that's why the not checkbox is there. Okay. Then we have a new remote mode remote mode for N1 MIM locker and uh, this is very simple remote mode. It doesn't have any uh, CQ monitors or system like that. It's made just for transferring the QSO from the uh, uh, other program into CQR logs. Log. At least uh, this system is uh, used in JS8 call program and it's also in uh, VS uh, JTX program and it might be also in other other programs 
which I don't know at the moment. Before we use this, uh, <coughs> uh, we have to make uh, some changes or checks here. First is the new QSO. There is no indication from uh, this remote mode that uh, it actually works, so uh, only indication can be seen if you choose this so recent uh, QSO records for last X days. If you set this, you can see your uh, QSO is dropping here and know that the remote mode is working. There is also this option. When this is checked, you can check this and you see uh, only the calls with the uh, recent uh, locked call sign in the list. If it's not checked, you see the tail of your log. So there is all QSOs uh, counted. So alone, if you check this, this doesn't do anything. You must select this, and this is uh, just the option for this one. Okay, we set this, and then we check the uh, FLDG WSJT interface, and we see that there is new N1MM port, which has a default values here. They, o they are okay, you don't, don't have to touch these in a normal way. And you can also see there is a work before check starts from. This is a new box. And this is uh, for the uh, CQ monitor. When you set the this checkbox and set the date here, uh, your log is uh, just search from uh, current date down to this date. And if the uh, call sign is found, it's printed in different color, but if it's uh, behind that limit, it will be shown as a green color and the uh, not worked yet. So you can uh, uh, put this on during the weekend contest and put the date here, and you can see very easily uh, the duplicates during the weekend and ignore all uh, the older QSOs. Same with the locator. If you are collecting locators and uh, and uh, you want to know what locators you have had during the last month, you just put the uh, first day of the month here. Check this one and all the locators that you have worked before that month shows you out like not worked at all. You can test with this and see how it works. But it's not the goal of uh, the uh, uh, introduction now. So these settings are OK. Then we can start the uh, remote mode. That's the indication it's remote mode is on. And now you see the tail of the last uh, QSOs in our log. And then uh, we can open the CS8 call and check the uh, settings here with F2 button and take the uh, reporting tab and uh, check the checkbox here. N1MM log logger broadcast. You see the same port and the IP number here, so they are OK. And uh, WSJTX, the same F2 button here, and the reporting, and uh, we same kind of uh, section here. You check this one. The port is the same, and it's okay. So I'm not going to work any QSOs now. I just simulate. Uh, them by uh, pressing the lock button here and putting some call here AA1AA and uh, 
some kind of report like this and the locator maybe like this and he has name like name TX power is um, 10 watts comment is comment and so we have a QSO work here and we just press the OK button here and you see the QSO is locked into a seeker lock and the same with the WSJDX we can put the call sign here which one kilo hotel like this and now we have some data also here simulate the report here and the locator name is okay name we have the power and some comment here and we can lock the QSO and it's in uh, our secure lock as you can see we can have both programs open here and do uh, the uh, locking to secure lock at the same time no problem not actually just not at the same time but uh, very uh, flexible without uh, changing anything but uh, keeping the two programs open at the same time you ha need to do uh, some uh, adjustments with your rig so that the both programs and the CQR lock can access your rig if I change frequency here like this it should change also here like this <laughs> just take some time okay uh, but about this uh, uh, these settings of the rig there is a file here on my web page setting rig control D for all programs and uh, by reading that you get the idea how you can put all these programs run together at the same time with your one rig so that's the uh, that's the way uh, of the uh, using the new N1MM remote you don't get any any monitoring information just lock the QSOs and uh, because uh, Andreas DL7 OAP has made uh, a fix for the ADIF export you can put the uh, JS8 calls to LOTW without problems now it, uh, the fix will change this uh, mode to sub mode that it's required for LOTW so everything should go okay now but as I said this is not in uh, official version yet but I think it will be on next release and uh, meanwhile you can try to test with this binary if you are interested in to try this one so uh, that's all for this time thank you